everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub. It's all good to learn anatomy like this, looking inside the human body at diagrams or even dissection. But what about when you get a real, fully intact human and you need to find out what's wrong with them? Cutting them open is, of course, best avoided whenever possible. That's where medical imaging comes in and becomes a very helpful tool for diagnosis and exploration of human anatomy. But it's a pretty different way of looking at the body. What if you were presented with an image like this? Or this? We need to be able to identify what we're seeing in these sections in order to know how to localise what we see in these images. Today, we're going to be continuing our series on cross-sections of the human body, which is the first step into becoming an MRI or CT Pro. So let's get started and identify structures in a cross-sectional image so we can then figure out what's wrong with these people. The level we'll be looking at is the level of the caudate nucleus. We'll begin this tutorial by reviewing the planes of the body and identify which one we use for cross-sectional images. We'll also briefly cover what a cross-sectional image is and how to orientate ourselves when looking at them. Next, we'll look at where the caudate nucleus is so that we can anticipate what sort of structures to expect to see in the cross-sectional images at this level. And finally, we'll get into identifying these structures. We'll be looking at the bones. After that, we'll identify the muscles at the level of the caudate nucleus. Then we'll work our way through nervous structures. And finally, we'll identify any vessels that we can see. After we've identified all of the structures at the level of the caudate nucleus, we'll chat about what you might see at this level clinically. Body planes are imaginary planes, or flat surfaces, that cut through and section the body while it's in its anatomical position. The first is the plane we can see highlighted in this image. This is the coronal plane. The coronal plane is a vertical plane that divides the body into anterior and posterior parts. Now what we can see highlighted is another vertical plane, but this time dividing the body into left and right parts. And this is called the sagittal plane. The third and final body plane is the transverse plane, which we can now see highlighted in green. This is a horizontal plane, which divides the body into superior and inferior portions. Transverse planes are the planes that we make cross-sectional cuts in, so this is what's happened to the body when we look at cross-sectional images. And of course, that's what we'll be focusing on in this tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at some structures that we can see at this level in the transverse or cross-sectional plane. These cross-sectional images are similar to what can be seen in CT and MRI scans. Just as with those scans in cross-sectional anatomy, we're looking at the images as if we're standing at the patient's feet, looking superiorly towards the patient's head. Also, it should be noted that the patient is always lying on their back. Therefore, this side of the image is the right-hand side of the patient's body, and this is the left-hand side. Over here we have the anterior or the front of the body and at the bottom of the screen is the posterior aspect where the patient's back is. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website. Not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.